Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another underrated mod video. We haven't done one of these in a little bit. Let's get to it while hopping on the mod browser and I think I have an idea of what I want to check out. I see this mod all the time, Storm Divers Additions mod. Let's check it out. You can see it adds in a lot of weapons, accessories, adds in a lot of stuff, holy. 21 new enemies, that's a nice one to see right there. A way to remove the shields from the pillars prematurely, okay interesting. Let's check it out, let's hop into it. It. all right we are here with the storm diver add-on mod and i didn't see much in terms of uh generation here i don't know if there is generation at all you know what was cool is this over here very cool all right but let's get to it let us start with the enemies so there's 21 new enemies it looks like that's the truth this is 21 it looks like and let's see it so we got a baby derpling look at that does this thing do damage let's hop out of god mode let's see Yes, it does. Okay, cool. Let's kill it. Get it out of here. We got a fallen warrior. Very cool. More enemies for the marble bind is always good. Hey, stop shooting arrows, bro. I'm going to have to toss you out of here. Uh, we got a temple guardian. Interesting. New enemy for the temple. So, so far, the enemies added in are like adding in areas that do have a lackluster amount of things. Granite, a new granite enemy. Cool, cool. So, I can get behind all these enemies so far. Soul Cauldron. Now, is this like a dungeon enemy? I have no idea. Seems like a dungeon enemy, probably. That, oh, dropped a hell soul flame. Okay, interesting. So, maybe not a dungeon enemy. Uh, we got another one. Soul Cauldron Servant. So, I'm assuming these guys spawn together. We have a Heartless Soul cool all the enemy sprites so far look good oh we dropped a broken heart who broke my boy's heart uh we got a frigid snowflake i'm assuming a snow enemy maybe a snow event enemy oh look at that i killed it and it says frozen ores cannot be obtained from the depths of the frozen caves cool cool moonling how much health did this thing have? 40,000. Damn, this thing seems tough. It drops Illuminite. That's cool. All right, let's go a little bit faster through the next couple of ones. We got an Angry Mushroom. Very nice. Uh, we have a Brain Hopper. For a second, I thought it said Brian Hopper, and I was like, who the hell is Brian? Very cool enemy. We got a Dune Blaster. I'm assuming a Sand enemy. Also does the same thing. Adds ores to the desert now. We got a Scandrone. Looks cool. Blazing Hopper. Okay, it seems like we have a theme of certain enemies here. Because look, we got a Star and a Storm Hopper. I guess it is pretty cool to have new enemies for the pillars. Even though I do hate the pillars. The pillars I find really boring and just a waste of time for an event. I feel like they could have been more creative with it in terms of vanilla Terraria. But again, that's what we have mod developers for, right? Uh, we got a Camouflage Derpling. That's cool. And we got a Vortexian Cannon. All right, hold up. I want to see this uh, camouflage derpling in action. I have to catch this guy, though. All right, let's see it in action here. So what happens if I get close? Whoa, that's cool as hell. I like that. Need more enemies like that. It's sort of like the mimic, but it's more just like natural. Because mimics, you know, usually expect a mimic. I don't expect a piece of like jungle terrain to come alive and attack me. That's cool. I like that. Yeah, so far the enemies, I will give them a S. That's some S tier enemies. I like the creativity. I like the sprites. They add in the areas that don't have usual or that don't have a lot of enemies in there or a lot of content in there. That's always a plus side. All right, let's get into armor and accessories here. Let's do armor first because armor is really easy. Uh, we got a lot of vanities here. These vanities are really cool. Rain boots to go along with the raincoat. Nice. We have asteroid stuff. This is a pretty good set. And both helmets just increase overall damage, which is pretty cool. You know, no specific class. Even though I do prefer specific classes, I always like having a specific class in Terraria. Unless, you know, it's like your first playthrough or something along the lines of that. You just feel like doing a natural playthrough. Uh, we got twilight stuff. Cool let's put this on the armor sets look cool so far low key they look a little outdated like the sprites they look like old terraria sprites you know what i'm saying some of them some of them look fine but like this armor set looked like a 1.2 1.1 terraria armor sprite but like the asteroid stuff look really cool this hell soul stuff looks really cool let's put this on boom this yeah this looks cool now i can get behind this all the armor sets really cool there's a granite armor set uh and then there's a derpling armor set that has two different helmets one for minions and then one for just overall damage what's the set bonus do i jump higher i have to jump higher hold up oh it greatly increases ascent 
Whoa, look at the jump height. Beautiful. All right, but all the armor sets are very nice. Let's check out some accessories here. I think for these videos, we might just stick to like two mods per videos if the mods are like decently sized. Because this one feels like it's pretty decently sized. We got a celestial barrier. Grants immunity to debuffs inflicted by extraterrestrial creatures. Beautiful. Taking heavy damage greatly increases health regen while protecting you. Duration depends on the amount of damage received. Seems just like a top tier accessory you'd get late game. Uh, doesn't have an animation or anything. You know, I always have a pet peeve with things having an animation or not on the character. I would prefer that they do. It's a nice little detail. Like, not an animation, but like a sprite that appears on the characters. Like, even top tier mods like Calamity and Thorium don't even do it sometimes. But yeah, this leaves behind a damaging trail of sand when moving fast enough. Damaging enemies create small sand blasts around you. Very cool. Okay, let me put like a slime behind me. Let's see the slimes get hit by the trail. Ooh, I like that. That's a creative accessory right there. Let's pick out a couple more cool ones. It seems this mod has a good couple of boots in it. There's a launcher attachment. Makes all guns fire out rockets hold up that might be crazy let me get like a gatligator so we should just shoot rockets randomly now that's pretty cool i like that and let's check out like one more cool accessory we got this right here why not betsy's flame creates a burst of flames upon landing with enough speed grants infinite wing flight this became before the soaring insignia look at that so what do they mean upon landing with enough speed like well, i don't know what that means if i just hit the floor really hard okay that's cool all right one more accessory because that one wasn't that crazy we got this one mechanic Mechanical spikes. Three spike balls will orbit you, damaging enemies within reach. Has a small chance to destroy almost any projectile that comes near. Cool. I like this. This is pretty sick. Okay, let's spawn in some enemies. Let's, let's hit them with these. Oh, nice. All right, let us get into the weapons here, and then we can call it there for this mod. There's a lot of cool stuff like this. Removes the shields from all active pillars. Doing the Lord's work right there. We got a giant turtle shell. Let's see it in action. I want to see a Mario type throw. Beautiful. It didn't come back, but that's fine. I am 100% fine with just tossing these at enemies, you know? All right, what other cool weapons do we have here? Spooky Staff rains homing fire from the sky. Okay, that's cool. Definitely feels along the theme of the Halloween stuff. You know how the pumpkins home in with the pumpkin sword? Cool, cool. We got a Star Invader Staff. Some say floating Stardust Sentry that launches mini flow invaders that home into enemies. Now that sounds cool. I do like how like the Stardust summons are just like miniature versions, pretty much miniature versions of like the enemies that attack you during them. And this definitely goes along with the theme of that. I'm assuming it's a century, right? It said century. We got the asteroid globe. Some is a floating boulder at the curse's location that explodes into fragments. Let's go over here away from that century. Let's see it in action. Ooh. I like the noise that it makes. It's satisfying. That little mining stone noise. We got some duck stuff. You know, might as well check out the duck stuff. We got the duck quackter. Summons a bunch of ducks enhanced by lunar energy. Now this is amazing. What about this one? Just like a earlier version. Okay, that's cool. I like a duck theme. We got some more shroomite stuff, which is always cool. Uh, there's a mechanical repeater. You know, I don't have to check all of these out. Selenian blades, though. Hold up. Now, this is cool. I like this. I miss that it expands with some of the uh, stardust and other pillar stuff. That's very nice. I do think those things need an expansion of some sort. Because, again, just like pillars are so boring. But as you can see, there's a good bit of guns here. There's a lunar stone launcher. Do I need stone to use this? Requires compact boulders let me see these compact boulders oh yeah we get to shoot boulders at things get a little revenge well i guess i don't know unless you're attacking a boulder enemy you're not really getting revenge against boulders all right it seems like all the weapons are like super unique in this mod and i am impressed with this mod again i said i see this mod all the time on the browser but it's one of the mods that i just like never have touched before and i'm glad that i've touched it here today it seems cool as hell look at that i got a chainsaw last weapon here predictor brain summons projectiles that charge towards the cursor these are always cool weapons when they go towards your cursor look at that awesome all right but let's go ahead let's check out another mod all right we're here on the browser again and we're gonna check out another mod that i've seen on the browser for like years at this point and that is the minigun mod adds in a bunch of items new bosses new mobs new town npcs amazing let's download it this is pretty much me just you know checking out mods that i always see on the browser but i never download you know might as well show them off to the world if they haven't seen them or if you haven't seen them all right we're in the world here with a minigun mod i am gonna bring up that once i reloaded my mods not only did my terrier crash but my obs i don't think it's the mods fault at all but that's just really interesting that both of them crashed but yeah 
Checking out the uh, enemies first and the bosses, I am gonna note right away, the sprites are ugly. And I have a, I have a very pet, big pet peeve with sprites. If they don't match the feel of the game, if they're ugly, it's hard to get in and blend in. You know, it's hard to have that feeling like, oh yeah, I'm playing a Terraria mod. It's just ugly sprites, man. It's just, it really takes out the immersion of the game. Yeah, we have a Soviet zombie. We got a, a minigun NPC. I don't know what the hell he's wearing. The all-knowing one. He's got a weird walk. For all-knowing one, he does not know how to walk correctly. Uh, we got mechanical glancer. What is this thing? It's like a Nimbus cloud. Interesting. Uh, if I do damage, does it do anything? You have leveled up. Uh, we got the crane, 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 me and the We got the eye of desecration. That one doesn't want to spawn apparently. All right, what about the bosses? So we got uh, the aspid here. Our ether aspid. It's a worm boss. Holy shit. Who did that? One of your. I gotta, I gotta get rid of you. You guys are too strong. I wanted to see the boss. Let's see it again. It's a worm boss. That, that's it <laughs> i think it's kind of hard to make any worm boss interesting it's been done to death even by terraria itself so i don't know man all right what's next we have the eye of pain which is pretty much just a to either twins or eye cthulhu sprite it is attacking with a lot of abilities this is very interesting i'm gonna go ahead and take it out here see you later uh next up we have a uh, zizor the world's desecration oh okay i like how there's a little filter effect that's really cool Again, though, it is just a worm boss. I can't really give much respect to a worm boss. It's, it's a worm boss. What else do we got? We got an ancient mummy. Damn, he has a lot of health. Okay, interesting. All right, what else do we have? The clockwork. Whoa. Okay, here we got an interesting looking boss here. I like how it like locked onto me with that attack. That's a really loud laser. This attack right here, I like how it locks on you. See, that's interesting. If the sprite looked a lot better, now this, this would definitely be a good boss. We'll go ahead and kill it. Does it drop itself? Oh, it spawns into the worm. Another worm boss. Amazing. All right. There you go. There was all the enemies and bosses. Very cool. Let us go ahead and check out all the items now. And let's hope the mod makes up there for the sort of lackluster enemies and bosses. Again, sprites, they're very ugly. No offense to whoever made them. Like anybody could probably sprite better than me. But like these in terms of quality next to like just a regular Terraria sprite, they do not match up at all. But yeah, let's start with the armors. Where are the armors at? I don't know. I hope these are organized. Usually how mods are organized. I don't know. I don't think so. It looks like everything is kind of just, you know, scattered around. Okay. I don't know if there's armors or not. Oh, here we go. We got a gambler armor set. Very interesting. Look at me. Oh, damn. I run fast though. Holy. This gambler is in a hurry. All right. What else do we got? I guess I'll just grab random stuff and see how it is. We have clockwork drive. Can work in two ways as a hook and as an accessory. If you use an accessory, increases maximum grapple count by three and allows to shoot infinite amount of hooks so like i, I kind of want to equip one as a hook and equip one as an accessory okay oh so you could just shoot a bunch of hooks then. okay i got it i got it this is a cool looking hook i won't lie this is a cool looking hook it's also a very interesting accessory so so far not too bad we have a cursed cog spins faster than spinner doubles all item use speed up. decrease all damage at 40 percent now that's interesting so for example let me pull out like an arcalis let's see an arcalis you know an arcalis swings pretty fast we put this on okay i don't know if that was a good example let me try like a gun we got a mini shark it shoots pretty fast we put this on it shoots faster there you go that was the example i was trying to show i thought the arcalis would work with it it didn't all right what else do we have asriel's mechanism this this is interesting this is a lot of stuff to read let's just see it in action whoa now this is cool i'll give the mod this i like this little like whatever this is filter world changing whatever biome dimension that's cool as hell. It says stops the flow time for 17 seconds at the cost of one fourth of your HP. Projectile shot while time is stopped will regain the velocity when time runs. Enemies are invulnerable while time is stopped. Silver knives gain extra damage if were stopped previously. What you call time stop is actually moving extremely high speeds with no mass. Wow, there you go. TED talk science lesson there's just a lot of items to go over i can't really like go over much in detail here let me grab like a couple more items and then we'll uh check out another mod all right we have the vainglory holy hell that is a lot of re <laughs> let's see it in action whoa look how there's like a little cursor Ooh, i can't kill npcs with it this guy has a lot of health he's kind of hard to kill what's if i kill him i guess oh i can't even kill him with that okay i won't even mess with him then wazer rifle who doesn't love the wazer rifle oh it makes the fallout laser sound too amazing 
I'm a big Fallout fan, so this is cool. The sprite just looks like something they found on Google, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, resonance Cannon. Increases sound vibrations around, causing extreme damage to everything when this area effect using it harms you. After attack, you'll get various debuffs. Holy! <laughs> this is pretty cool. Okay, I don't want to use it anymore. I don't want to use it anymore. I, I don't want to use it anymore. I can't stop it. It's still gone. Okay. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, I think we've seen enough from the minigun mod. Uh, I think let's go check out another mod now. Oh, wooden shaft. Look at this. All right, let us grab one mod here. It's going to be a little one. And as you can see, I kind of have an idea of what I want to grab. Maybe I should have like a whole episode dedicated to some summoner mods. Now, that would be cool. All right, so let's grab one that stood out to me. And it was this one. Summons galore. Mod developers. Good tip right here. If you want people to download your mod, usually have a very nice picture have a picture period i am more inclined to click on one with a picture even if the picture is dumb i am more inclined to click on a picture that's just how the human brain works and also have a good name very very simple tip it's just like youtube good title good thumbnail boom you'll probably get views unlike my dying channel currently right all right let us go ahead and finish off this episode here with this mod uh it didn't say that there was too much in the mod so it should be a nice and quick little showcase boom there's only four items five items good enough for me let's check them out all right right away i'm gonna bring up the sprites as i always do the sprites don't look the worst uh they're definitely more closer to like terraria theme like this looks amazing they're more close to terraria theme than the uh last mod the minigun uh, minigun mod some of them are kind of eh. like that one's kind of eh. this one is not that bad in the b okay the all right, I guess I didn't need that. The B one is a little bit, eh, I don't know what the hell the, the B looks like. He has to take a shit. Let's check it out, though. We got the B staff. This staff will spawn a friendly bee to protect you. Its health scales with minion stats. Uh, Does it like slowly like die? I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, interesting. Let me summon in some enemies. Let's see how it works. So are they just like, oh, they die because they're bees and they sting. And after they lose their, their stinger, they die. That's what happens to bees, right? That's cool. It's a different summoner stuff. And like the bees kind of just slowly die. I don't know if that's a part of it or what. Cool, cool, cool. Let's check out the next one here. These are not like regular summoner stuff, at least the first two. This one, this staff will summon a bubble jellyfish to fight enemies. His health scales with minion stats. So when they mean minion stats, let me, let me see here. If I summon in a bee, the bee has... 26 health. If I summon in jellyfish, jellyfish has 41 health. So if they mean by minion stats, if I put on stardust armor, right? Would that mean that the minions are stronger now? Let's see. Let's see the health. 51 health. Yeah, look at that. The health scaled up. Cool. That's that's very unique. I will give the mod that. That is very unique. And I think it's really interesting to have a concept like that. All right, let's see the uh, jellyfish here. Jellyfish dies really quick. Doesn't really have a reason to die really quick, like the bee. The bee made sense, you know? I don't know. Maybe I don't know much about jellyfish. Maybe they do die after they sting something. Who the hell knows? Any marine biologists in the comments? <laughs> All right, so now we go to our regular summons here, which are the Flying Spike Ball and the Friendly Nimbus. Let's check out the Flying Spike Ball. This staff will summon a Flying Spike Ball to protect you. I feel like I said that word a bunch. Let's see it. Wow, look at that. Oh, this sprite is really nice. I don't know why this sprite doesn't, you know, look like this sprite or uh, the reverse. Like, you see how there's like nice shading on the outside of the Spike Ball? Why isn't that like right here on the staff? I don't know. Uh, can I have multiple of these? Let me see here. Oh, I can. Okay, how many more? Let's get a bunch. They fly around us, kind of like the blade staff. But instead of flying around our head, they fly around us as a whole. Let's spawn in that king slime. Get them, boys. They don't do a lot of damage. I'm assuming this is a really early summon then. Cool. All right, other than that, let's check out the friendly Nimbus one. This staff will summon a friendly Nimbus to fight for you. Let's see it. Boom. Look at that. This is something that feels like should be in the vanilla game. On top of Nimbus staffs. Nimbus staff should do summon damage. Come on. We all know that should have been a thing in vanilla Terraria. If the god known as Yurimir himself used the Nimbus rods during his summoner playthrough, like, come on, come on. These guys, these guys, well, not these guys. The Nimbus rod should be summoner damage. But anyways, rant aside, I like this. This is cool. I like this sprite. I like the idea of them. They're not really OP because they hover around in a weird way and because they hover around in a weird way weird pattern it doesn't make them as strong as you would think which is a nice way to balance them. 
so that is very cool that's really it you guys can go ahead you can kill the boss now go ahead everyone i'll help i'll send the stardust guy to help you guys out a little bit because you are taking a little bit and then uh, one more last thing i want to check out is crafting recipes because none of these summons seem really strong so i hope that their crafting recipes are balanced let's see b staff okay fairly balanced to me same thing with the jellyfish one nice and early flying spike ball one okay this one does nowhere near enough damage to warrant a stinger and a feather so that one's a little bit eh and then the friendly nimbus one living cloud fragment what does this drop from i have no idea let me summon in a nimbus and then let me see if it drops from that boom nimbus let me kill it yeah it drops living cloud fragments all right these nimbuses do not do enough damage to warrant that so these things should be a lot stronger but yeah other than that this is a cool little mod the potential is definitely there i don't know how often this mod's been uh, updated wasn't really paying attention to that but the potential is there hopefully the mod developer sees this video and you know gets inspired that's usually the goal with these videos all right so let us give our ratings to these mods let's start with the summoners galore one i'm gonna give the summoners galore mod a four out of five which might be a little high but i think there's so much potential with summoner mods we've seen it with the amulet of mini minions mod which is a great summoner mod by the way still want to do a playthrough with it maybe once 1.4 comes out but yeah there's so much potential with just summoner mods i think i am going to do a summoner only episode in the future for underrated mods we'll see but there's a lot of potential there hopefully they work out all those kinks add in more content armor you know start expanding upon all of the summoner boom bada bing i think it's a five out of five mod then next up we have the minigun mod now the minigun mod adds Adds in a lot of stuff i will give it that it's been here for a while like i swear i've seen the minigun mod on the browser for like years but you know uh, finally me checking it out i don't know I, I really didn't like any of the sprites again no offense they just didn't match terraria's feel at all they felt like i don't know starbound sprites they even starbound's not that detailed like they just didn't feel like great sprites the minigun mod the bosses are also kind of eh, like a majority of them were worm bosses there was like one unique boss though the one that turned into a worm after you killed it too that was pretty cool but again worm bosses i don't like worm bosses they're uncreative they just i don't know unless you find a way to make them creative which is very tough and very few uh, mods and developers have figured it out but it's still tough it's just you know the worm bosses so i'm gonna give the minigun mod a two out of five i believe a few touch-ups here and there and it could easily become a four out of five even five out of five mod but it's a little bit away from becoming that next up the storm divers editions mod another mod that i always see on the browser and i'm glad that i finally checked it out it was a really cool mod i'm gonna give it a four out of five very close to a five out of five if it just had a little bit more like content in terms of bosses structures you know just generation and bosses it it would be up there it's definitely really cool i like all the additions it adds in the sprites are awesome a lot of unique weapons a lot of unique enemies if they just you know up it a little bit more it could be better and i'm not saying that like all mods have to be like bosses structures you know they don't need to do that but i feel like with a mod like that you might as well you're very close to being like a perfect content mod you might as well so i'm gonna give it a four out of five very close to five out of five like i said great mod check it out check out all these mods they're they're cool they're still cool they're better than any mod that i could create they're better than anything i could sprite so make sure to check them out i hope you guys enjoyed this episode hopefully game Rangers month is still going i'm grinding my ass off please leave a like i know the channel is kind of just dying i don't know if posting this many videos is not good for the channel i don't know you would think that posting a lot of videos would be good for a channel but my channel is slowly dying it's the truth the views have dropped insanely i don't know maybe i after game Rangers month i'm gonna take a step back and look at everything as a whole and just try and decide where i want my content to go in the future sorry to end the video on a sad note but like it's factual but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i'll see y'all next time